Hello darlings. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you're sub for sub, please leave a like and a comment. And now for the video. Hello darlings, it's Brandy here with another nail art video. Um, today I am attempting a um, dripping blood nail, but not the conventional, um, you know, with the two or three droplets and dragging it down. Um, I wanted to try to do some, um, 3D effect. I don't, I don't know, um, what exactly you would call it, but I wanted to have the design have, um, more depth in it. And most of the time when you see nail designs like on Instagram or on, um, YouTube or whatever, they're made with acrylic. So I wanted to see if I could attempt a similar thing with gel polish. Okay, so this is a set of nails that I was trying to imitate Beauty by Jess Mira. Um, I don't know her. I don't even really follow her. So um, I just saw the design and, of course, wanted to copycat it. So um, I will leave the link to that photo in the description box so that if anyone wants to check that out or any of her other designs you know feel free of course so I'm just taking my black and I put a very uh, you know more than I would normally put if I was just painting my first coat of polish um, I wanted it to be a little more juicy so <laughs> So that I could drag the polish down into the other color without it getting too thin because I knew I wasn't going to be able to put a second coat on any of this. So I'm doing the same with the red. I'm actually putting it, um, I was, I should have put it a little bit more, um, like a little bit more red further down and I did do that on the other nail. Now I'm leaving this beginning part in real time because I want you to see exactly what I do because I think it came out really cool. It doesn't look exactly like what it, you know it was in the picture but I wasn't really even going for that. Um, I just wanted to you know take that idea and kind of put my own swing on it, swing on it. So I'm taking the red and I am just kind of making a wavy design down. I didn't want to put too much because I just wanted it to be kind of like the background color so that when I put the clear over it and then um, re-pull re it and redrag it, it will have a more of a 3D effect, or at least that's what I was attempting. I wanted to give a shout out to one of my nail sisters, Cherie, from Just Nailed It on YouTube and at Nailed It 67 on IG. She's got a bunch of awesome content. She does her um, She Modern Saturday where, um, you know, it's her original idea of doing, using She Modern products in all different kinds of ways. Um, and it's very creative and interesting to see how she does it. And also, she has a new docuseries that just came out. And it's her, like, acrylic adventure kind of thing where she started right at the beginning of, you know, learning how to do acrylics by just getting the brush and, um, you know, going over the, uh, like the Tammy Taylor practice sheets or how to do a bead, how to, um, you know, what to do with your brush. And it is very, very interesting and, um, insightful and you get a lot of good information from it as well. So I've been really into that. Um, plus she does other nail art and, uh, reviews and things like that as well, but that docuseries is really cool. I like it. So I'm going to leave her links, her IG and her YouTube in the description box. So if you want to check that out, please do. She is wonderful. I love the content, like I was saying. So, um, now back to my nails. <laughs> I didn't really do like an ombre at the top, but I did kind of mush it together so that there wasn't just that straight line of where I put them. You know what I mean? I wanted it to look a little more jagged so that it would like follow the, um, follow the design a little bit. 
And since I'm taking the black and I'm pulling it down into the red and the red, there's a lot of the polish on there. So I'm having to take, you know, not quite a bit, but a lot more than you would use, like if you were just painting lines um, and drag it down into it so that it shows up in the red instead of just getting swamped over the top with it. Um, and I didn't have to use the super, super fine detailing brush like I thought I was going to. I just used the regular line brush and just kind of made it look like lightning to me. Um, now, to try to get the 3D effect here, I just took my No Wipe Top Coat from Emily and basically dropped a big ball of it right onto the nail where the red starts to get dragged down into the tendrils. Now, I used a lot more product than I needed and I basically just tip the nail down and let the clear slide down to the tip of the nail. Um, I made sure that it covered the whole thing, you know, because like on the tip and the edges, it wasn't quite dripped down yet. So now I'm going over the red part, trying to feather it into the clear. And you see me removing a lot of that top coat because I wasn't sure exactly how much I was going to need and I didn't know if I had to drop more if it would affect the design and make it look less than what I was trying to attempt um so I'm just like I said going over that red again and I'm trying to just um you know make it look kind of smoky or swirly I don't know if I achieved exactly what I imagined. I don't think that ever happens. <laughs> I imagine one thing and I just don't have the skill or the product sometimes <laughs> to make it work. So <laughs> a lot of times I think it's a fail, but the design is really awesome. So that's how I did those two nails. Like I said, it wasn't a perfect... Um, mimicry but I wasn't really going for that anyway and since I was doing the other nails glossy I wanted to do um the black ones matte um I wanted to show here that um there might be some bumps or like kind of like divots because of the way that I pulled that extra top coat off there wasn't a lot and it wasn't bad but, you know, when something like that happens, you just put on a few layers of top coat and it'll even out. So, um, I mean, and they don't have to be thick layers either. You could do a few thin ones um, or one thick one, I guess. But, you know, I like to do a few thin ones when it's that situation because I don't want the nail to be too bulky because they're press-ons. So... You know, if you put too much on there, the flexibility is not going to be on there and they're not going to fit right. So, um, you know, you kind of have to watch how many layers you build up. And I mean, you know, it gets up there after a while when you're adding things and doing different types of nail art. So that's just something to keep in mind with press-ons because I have run into that problem myself personally. Um, I've never bought press-ons from a person that actually makes them themselves. I've only bought, like, drugstore press-ons or done my own, so, um, but, yeah. Anyways, I digress. So, I got this 12-grid, um, thing from AliExpress. Now, it's foil, and it is foil, but it doesn't look like the foil that, like, you see on Instagram or anything. I keep saying that, but, you know, I've been going through the feeds a lot lately, um, just checking stuff out because I do love Halloween and, um, you know, I'm just checking stuff out. So <laughs> I bought this and the pieces themselves just look different. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it's because it's like more shredded for the most part, or if it's because I'm not ripping off individual pieces from a, um, you know, from a, a big piece of foil, you know, because these are already cut. Or if it's because they're using real gold leaf, which I kind of looked into and it's really not that expensive. 
I mean, I wouldn't use them for nails I'm not going to wear. But um, it was something like, I don't know, $13 for eight sheets. And I mean, you know, they're the little squares. But still, I'm sure there's a big difference between foil and gold foil. But I don't know. It's not a necessity, so I'm not worried about it. And I have this. Um, and I do have a few foils that I won from uh, Miss Leslie at Hillbilly Nails and Makeup. So, you know, I got a little bit floating around. But anyways, what I did is I took my drill glue and I just put some little dots and dabs on there and then placed the foil, you know, wherever I felt like it should go. And I did notice that as I was um, placing it, like when I went to pat it down to make sure it was there, layers of the foil kept coming up. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're adding foil, especially from one of those grids. Um, now this, I did a similar thing, um, with Melissa's nails, Miss Savage Granny Claws. Hello, sis. Mwah, mwah. Um, she actually sent me this chain. So I, you know, I wanted to put it to use because it's so beautiful. But, um, yeah, I clip my <laughs> fingertip of my glove. I do that all the time. <laughs> I think that I have them on all the way to the end, but... You know, then I end up clipping off a piece of it. Or, like, if I'm filing or buffing, I definitely, like, rip it. It's just <laughs> it's such a silly thing. <laughs> okay, so since this nail, is, this nail is matte, I wanted to make sure that I didn't put too much gummy jelly or too much shiny top coat on it because I wanted it to be matte to show the... Um, you know, to have contrast from the shiny, um, diamond chain, um, you know, full diamond, of course, but I wanted these to have like a Halloween, but like a little classier look to it. So originally I was going to cover the whole nail with the chain and have it come down. But after I put the first strip on, I liked the way that it looked like that. So I just stopped with that because I think it looked good. So um, I just want to thank everyone who has been doing watch time for me, has been asking their subscribers to do watch time for me. Um, I'm just, I'm really touched by it all and I appreciate it so much. Everyone that has been doing it. Um, special shout out to Miss Helen Evans. She has been doing watch time for me and she's been wonderful. Um, I've had a few other people as well do it, um, you know, non-nail uh, YouTubers, which is just amazing. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, so for this last red nail, um, I'm going to put a, um, like a skeleton hand, and it's metal, so it, it's fairly heavy, so I put a, a glob of the, um, gummy jelly right in the middle of the nail now I'm taking the shiny top coat and just putting it over everything because if you don't know by now um the gummy jelly will not work by itself you have to use the shiny top coat with it otherwise there's no point but it does hold very very well so um you know I hadn't originally put as much um of the gummy jelly that I needed because it was the way that the hand is, there's like a big hollow underneath. So it wasn't actually being stuck to the nail as well as I wanted. It was like, you know, the outside of the hand was there, but the middle part had no, um, you know, wasn't touching the nail. So I had to build up that gummy jelly a little bit more before I put that on. Um, and that's me fiddling with it. And it's going right into the lamp after the cleanup. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't going to be any bumps or extra glue showing because, you know, once it goes in the lamp, it's, you know, that's it. It's done. So, um, and I didn't want to have to pile any top coat on it to try to make it look better or anything like that. So I just flash cured it real quick with my little flashlight because it was sliding around more than I liked. All right. So this is them. This is everything. Um. I think they came out beautiful. I'm definitely going to be wearing these on one hand. And I think my next um, 
nail art video is going to be the other hand. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very pleased with these. I'm going to pop up that picture one more time. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell me what you think. I mean, um, you know, I'm very happy with everything. Please don't forget to check out Cherie from Just Nailed It. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again. Mwah.